Many of our cases come under the heading of routine. However, the case I'm going to tell you about tonight was anything but routine. It involves a child and a child beater. The story of Pauline Derrick became officially a case when the frantic screams of her daughter alarmed the neighbors. <coughs> down to the station and sign a complaint. Feel up to it? It's all right, Terry. I'll take you down. What'll they do to Mom? I don't know. That's up to the judge. She didn't mean it. I'm sure she didn't. She just gets that way when she's mad. Mad? Mad enough to kill? <laughs> Go ahead, honey. Cry. It's all over. You're safe now. <laughs> From now on, you're going to live with me. <laughs> I wish you were my mother. Public opinion had no use for Mrs. Derrick. It never has for a child beater. Although she denied her guilt, the state charged Pauline Derrick with felonious assault upon a child, resulting in traumatic injuries. The court appointed me counsel. It was one of those cases I viewed with little enthusiasm. The adverse publicity didn't help, but it was my job to defend Mrs. Derrick. I went down to see her. Mrs. Derrick, you're charged with locking up your daughter and cutting her with a knife. I locked her up, but I didn't hurt her. You're in serious trouble, and I can't help you unless you tell me the truth. I've been afraid of the truth. Afraid for Terry. Why? I love her. I didn't want to lose her. Now I know that I lost her a long time ago. Care to tell me about it? I'll tell you, if you believe me. The truth, Mrs. Derrick, speaks for itself. I'm guilty only of one crime. Of loving my Terry too much. And forgiving her too often. I see. When my husband died, Terry was all I had left in the world. She was his daughter, but I loved her like my own. I didn't have much to give her. I had a part-time job, and in the afternoon, I, I took in sewing at home. It was enough for rent and for food. 
As Mrs. Derrick's story unfolded, I was amazed by its bitter realism. It all began the day Mrs. Derrick received an unexpected visitor. Mrs. Derrick? Yes? Is your daughter home, Mrs. Derrick? No, she's in school. Who are you? I'm the district truant officer. Now, she hasn't been attending school very regularly, and we'd like to know if something is wrong. My Terry not going to school? Oh, no. Yes, ma'am. Quite a few times last month. And she didn't have a written report from you. Oh, my Terry wouldn't do a thing like that. Why, she's a good girl. You must have the wrong place. Sorry, ma'am. This is the place, all right. Our records show your daughter is 15 years old. And the law in this state says that she must attend school until she's 18, unless she gets married. Is she married, Mrs. Derrick? Oh, no. She doesn't even go out with a boy. Well, then I suggest you have a talk with her. Because unless her attendance record improves, the department will have to take action. Yeah, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. All right, Mrs. Derrick. Good day. Good day. Something wrong, Mom? Do you like school, Terry? Well, sure. I like it, all right. Well, then, why haven't you been going? What do you mean, Mom? You've been away from school several times, and you haven't told me about it. That's not true. But it must be true, Terry. Someone was here and told me. Who told you? A man. He said he was the truant officer. Why did you lie to me, Terry? I didn't lie to you. Honest, I didn't. You just gotta believe me. But how can I believe you, Terry? That officer, he knew all about you. Don't you trust me? Why did you stay away from school? Tell your mom, huh? Well, Mom, there are reasons. I wanted to surprise you. What do you mean? You work so hard. I just can't stand seeing you tired all the time. So I took a few days off from school to look for a job. A job? My Terry working? Oh, no. Oh, Mom, I'm young and strong. I want to help out. Please, Mom. Oh, my little girl. You make me feel so wonderful. You're so good. I love you very much. I love you too, Mom. I know. I know. So, no more looking for a job, huh? And you'll go back to school. Oh, gee, do I have to? Yes, Terry. I want you to be a smart girl and learn fine words and, and many things. So when you grow up, you won't be like, like me. Jim, don't talk that way. Oh, I, I want you to have all the best of everything. All the things I didn't have. So you'll do what I tell you to do, yes? Okay. You're the boss. Oh, Terry.
sick. You're kind of late. My old lady's getting suspicious. The truant officer was around this morning, but I fixed it up. I got news for you. I've been talking to the gang. Your end, Val. Give me a hand. You mean, now I'm really one of the circle gang? That's what I've been telling you. What do I have to do? As you told. And you better not chicken out. Not me. I think I got a bit for you tonight. I'll let you in on it as soon as Jack shows. Well, look who's here. Mama must be sleeping. Terry's out tonight. That's a real crazy cat. Yeah? I think she's got her eye on you. Come on, baby. Get a real nervous jump. Go on, do me something. You're from nowhere. <gasps> Why, you little Let me get her! Let me get her! Hey, baby. You're real help. Get lost, character. This is my chick. <laughs> to know. I'm your mother and you're just a schoolgirl. I can take care of myself. Where'd you get these clothes? I borrowed them from a girlfriend. What kind of girls do you know? You wouldn't understand. They're not square like you. I can't understand. Sneaking out behind my back. Where have you been? You must tell me. I've had enough of this, Mom. If you really want to know, I've been out with a boyfriend. You should be ashamed of yourself. You won't get out of this house for a week now. And I mean it. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Steiner. Hello, Mrs. Derrick. Sorry, I can't say good morning. There's nothing good about it. Why? What's wrong? They broke into my jewelry store last night, smashed up the window, and stole everything. Oh. And you know who did it? Kids, Mrs. Derrick. Kids. Oh, what kind of kids are they? Mm, you've seen them. The kind that hang around street corners and jukeboxes. It's a shame what's becoming a boys these days. And what about girls? They're worse. There were girls in on this, I'm told. Girls. Who, who told you? Who do you think? The police. It never occurred to Mrs. Derrick that her daughter was one of those girls. And the following week, Terry was on her best behavior, sticking close to home. Actually, she was just lying low. Terry, what are you doing? I'm doing my homework, Mom. Why don't you bring it in here and sit with me? Oh, I got my books spread all around. You've been a good girl all week, Terry. You see how easy it is to be good? Sure, Mom. Sure. Uh, hiya, Ma. I don't believe I know you, young man. Oh, sure you do. I'm Chuck, Terry's boyfriend. She must have told you about me. Hey, Dal. Get a move on. 
You're right on the dot. Terry, what's all this about? I'm going out. Oh, no, you're not. Go back to your room and take those clothes off immediately. You're not going anywhere. Tell her, Chuck. Look, Mom, you don't understand. She's in, see? You can't make her do nothing no more. How dare you talk to me like that? Why, you're just a kid like her. You go home where you belong. Well, what do you think this is? Kindergarten or something? We've seen you, Mom. Oh, Terry. Come on, Mom. I got off the leash long ago. Cover these corners here. You drive. Right. I pick up the loot, and you two take care of it. Uh oh, we've got company. Oh, brother, now she starts tailing me. Hi, Mom. You come home with me this minute. Hey. Oh, dig yeah. her, Tommy. Oh. Oh. Now don't make a fuss. Otherwise, we might have to dust you. Oh, you be quiet, and you come with me. Now, look, old lady, why don't you play it smart? Otherwise, you might meet up with a little accident, like getting your face smashed with a brick, or a car might run right smack into you. Oh, Terry. Terry, you don't belong here. You belong with me. Oh, yeah? Well, don't you get it? You don't cut no ice with her no more. <sighs> why don't you beat it? Oh, oh, oh Terry, please. Please don't, don't let your mama go away like this. Oh, Terry, please don't let your mama go away like this. Oh, you're goofing off, old lady. Why don't you go now? <laughs> <laughs> stayed out all night. When she showed up the next morning, she went straight to her room. Terry. Terry, what are you doing? I'm clearing out. Oh, you can't do that. Can I? No. Terry. Terry, where did you get this jewelry? Who cares? I care very much. Oh, so help me. I can't handle you anymore. You said it. Huh? It'll, it'll have to be the police now. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. You think you know everything. Well, you learn different when the police get here. Oh, help. Oh, God, help me, please. Oh, what do you mean, God? I'm bleeding. Somebody help me. I'm bleeding to death. Gonna take the cops on me, huh? Well, I'll save you the trouble. No. Just to make it look good. Then the police came and, and took me away. I don't care what happens to me, but but what's gonna happen to Terry? If what you told me is true, the authorities will have to take over. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Don't make such a fuss. Take it easy. He'll act like he's drunk. Who's driving that car out there? Hey, you. Who's driving that car out there? How do we know? What's the matter with him? Can a fella have a good time? All right, get up. I said get up! These are the ones we're looking for. You can't search me! You do it, I'll, and I'll rip my clothes and scream bloody murder! Officer, we're looking for this girl, too. I'm Matthews, public defender. This is policewoman Rollins. All right, sir. Take the girls in the back room and search them. <laughs> Sit still, son. Better get an ambulance. Yes, sir. chance, Terry. It's up to you now. Oh. oh, my baby. It's gonna be all right, Terry. The charges against Mrs. Derrick were dismissed. Terry was sent to a correctional school for girls, where she is being taught to become a more useful member of society. The case you have just seen was brought to a fair and just conclusion through the efforts of a public defender.